today I'm going to work with a 6 millimeter crochet hook and Red Heart Super Saver yarn in worsted weight. Chain 6. Single crochet in the second stitch from the hook and in each stitch of the chain. Like that. Chain 1 and turn. Single crochet in each stitch across the row. Continue until the work measures around 3 inches. Chain 1 and turn. Make 2 single crochet in each stitch across the row. So that means you will make 1 single crochet in the first stitch because this, that chain 1 takes the place of the first single crochet and then 2 single crochet in each stitch across the row. So now you have doubled your stitches to 10 stitches across the row. You chain one and turn, single crochet in every stitch across the row. And you're going to continue this pattern until the rectangle is long enough to wrap around your head. So I'm just going to go off camera and continue until it's large enough to fit around the head. Okay, I've continued to work the rectangle, and then when these two sections meet like this, we're now going to decrease and make a section that's going to overlap on this section. So we're going to decrease down to five stitches now. So to do that, we're going to chain one and turn. We're going to skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. Skip, single crochet, skip, single crochet, chain one and turn. Single crochet in each stitch across the row. Chain one and turn, single crochet in each stitch across the row. Now you're going to continue to repeat this row until this section is as long as the first section. When you have just a couple of rows remaining, you're going to make the buttonhole row. So chain one and turn, single crochet in the next stitch, chain one for the buttonhole, skip the next stitch, single crochet in the next two stitches. And there's your buttonhole. Chain one and turn. Single crochet in every stitch across the row, including the chain one space. And there's the buttonhole. Now I'm going to make a border all the way around of half double crochets. So this is where I ended and there's my buttonhole. So I'm just going to chain two. And then I'm going to evenly half double crochet all around the outside of the headband. And sometimes I may have to skip a stitch so that they won't either buckle or pull too tightly along the edge. So I'm just going to go all the way around and I'm going to half double crochet all the way around. As you're working your way around making your half double crochets, when you reach a corner, make three half double crochets in the corner stitch. Like that, just to have enough stitches to go around so that the corner won't pull. Okay, I've worked all the way around the headband making half double crochets and there are the corners where I did three half double crochets in each corner. Weave the yarn ends into the finished work. Sew a button on the back and there's how the headband looks and you can wear the buttoned up section in the back or on the side or in the front.
I'll place a link at the end of this video for this how to make this flower. Or you could just um, pin a brooch.